out of respect for our graduates and our great nation to please remain standing in silence for the presentation of the colors by members of our Air Force Junior ROTC unit and for the playing of our national anthem, as is appropriate etiquette for the flag of our country, we will remain standing in silence until the color guard has recessed. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. Please be seated. Gentlemen, you may return your caps to your heads. Thank you to our amazing Crabber Band, the pride of the peninsula, under the direction of Mr. Ronzel Bell, and to the Air Force Junior ROTC Color Guard, led by Cadet First Lieutenant Brianna Pleasant for the presentation of the colors. On behalf of the faculty and administration, I would like to welcome all of you who have gathered today to celebrate members of the class of 2023. I am Shamika Pollard, Executive Principal, and it is my honor to open these commencement proceedings. Thank you. The student body seated before you is the graduating class of 2023 for the Hampton High School. These graduates are now part of a historic tradition and legacy of excellence that is represented throughout our community, our country, by our many alumni. 
At this time, would all alumni who celebrate Hampton High School as your alma mater please stand to be recognized? Welcome home, everybody, and thank you for securing this tradition and legacy of excellence. At this time, I would like to introduce our platform guests and ask that they stand to be recognized. Representing Hampton City Schools, the Honorable Dr. Richard Mason, Hampton School Board Chair. The Honorable Dr. Tina Banks Gray, Hampton School Board Vice Chair. The Honorable Joe Kilgore, Hampton School Board. The Honorable Jason Samuels, Hampton School Board. The Honorable Ann Stevens Cherry, Hampton School Board. The Honorable Dr. Reginald Woodhouse, Hampton School Board. The Honorable Juwan A. Ward, Delegate, 92nd District. Dr. Jeffrey Smith, Superintendent. Dr. John Caggiano, Deputy Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction. Dr. Stacia Burrell, Chief of Elementary School Leadership and Compensatory Programs. Mr. Mohammed Al Safar on the floor, <laughs> student representative to the Hampton School Board and salutatorian for the class of 2023. Miss Vicki Chen, student representative to the Hampton School Board and proud member of the class of 2023. Miss Tamia Kelly, student representative to the Hampton School Board and a proud member of the class of 2023 representing the Hampton High School. Elizabeth Goodwin, Academy Principal, Freshman Academy. <laughs> Damian Collins, Academy Principal, Academy of Technology and Engineering. Hanif Majid, Academy Principal, Maritime Academy and International Baccalaureate Academy. Enriquez Williams, Academy Principal, <laughs> Health, Human and Financial Services Academy. Melvin Brown, Graduation Specialist. <laughs> Mr. Sharif Hicks, who once was a crabber, so he's still a crabber. Principal, Mary Peak Elementary School. <laughs> Janiah Martin, President for the Class of 2023. And Ethan Alfonso, Valedictorian for the Class of 2023. I would also like to acknowledge the presence of Dr. Terry Best, Vice Chair for the School Board for Newport News Public Schools, if you would please stand to be recognized. Thank you for your support today. Delegate, Delegate Cardoza has joined us, so I absolutely want to acknowledge his presence, the Honorable A.C. Cardoza, Delegate for the 91st District. A crabber, right? And a crabber alum, welcome home. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Smith, members of the division leadership team, members of Hampton School Board and Hampton City Council for your continued support and for being here this afternoon to share in this celebration. We would not be here today without the commitment, dedication, and passion of our teachers, school counselors, and other staff. The success we celebrate today, the futures and opportunities you have made possible, this is your legacy. Students, please join me in thanking your teachers, our counselors, our security and support staff. Faculty and staff, please stand to be recognized. Thank you for all that you continue to do. You may be seated. We would now like to recognize faculty members who have dedicated their lives to education and will be graduating with our students today. Congratulations to Mrs. Alicia Dudley. Please stand. She's up front. 
and to Mr. Beats for your years of service to our school. We would also like to acknowledge and thank two individuals who continue to work tirelessly to ensure that our seniors have enjoyed this amazing year. Ms. Kenyatta Hardy, senior class sponsor, and Mrs. Katrina Patrick, graduation coordinator. She's in the back. Finally, but certainly not least, I would like to thank our academy coach, Mrs. Christina Kirby, and extended learning coordinator, Mrs. Ms. Kimberly Sanders, for the countless hours they've spent working to ensure the best possible experiences for our students and for keeping the mission and goals of the Academies of Hampton at the forefront of everything we do. Ladies, please stand. We thank you. At this time, I would like to invite Hampton City School Board Chair, Dr. Richard Mason, to the podium for remarks. Good afternoon, distinguished guests, awesome administrators, esteemed faculty members, proud parents, and most importantly, the reason why we are here today, the Hampton High School graduating class of 20, 23. Today is a momentous day in your lives as we gather here to celebrate your reaching this milestone. I'm sure it feels like just yesterday you were starting this incredible journey together, and now you stand on the cusp of a new chapter in your lives. You have come a long way and should be immensely proud of your accomplishments. First and foremost, I want to express my deepest gratitude to the teachers, administrators, and staff members who have guided our students to get to these day, to today. Your dedication, patience, and unwavering support have played a pivotal role in shaping these students into the individuals that we see here. We owe the success of your passion, education, and belief in their potential. Let's give our teachers, administrators, and staff a round of applause. Thank you. I also want to thank your parents and family members that have supported these young people. Thank you for believing in them and their dreams. Believing in them and their dreams is probably the greatest gift that you could ever give them, so thank you for your unwavering support. Now to the Crabber graduates. As you stand here on the thresholds of life, I want to offer a charge to each and every one of you. This is not just a milestone. It is a launching pad for your future. The world awaits your talents, your ideas, and your dreams. You have the power to shape your own destinies and the possibilities before you are endless. So my charge to you, class of 2023, is this. Dream big dreams and chase those dreams relentlessly. As you step out of high school, you will encounter new challenges, opportunities, and obstacles. It won't be easy, but remember that greatness lies within each of you. Just know that life will knock you down sometimes, but it's not about how you fall. It's more about how you get up. As you step out into the vast unknown, understand success is not merely measured by the degrees that you hold or the titles that you acquire. True success lies in finding fulfillment in your passions, in living a life of purpose, and in making a positive impact on the lives of others. It is your responsibility to use the knowledge and skills you gain to create a better future to be agents of change in our communities, and to advocate for those whose voices may not be heard. Congratulations to each and every one of you, and best wishes to all of you. And never forget, you can't crush a crab.
I would be remiss also if I didn't take this opportunity to wish a fond farewell to our award-winning superintendent, Dr. Smith. So thank you for your service, Dr. Smith. And also would like to congratulate Dr. Raymond Haynes as he steps into the new role of superintendent for Hampton City Schools. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mason, for your leadership, your dedication to Hampton City Schools, and your continued support of the Hampton High School. We will now hear remarks from the senior class president, Ms. Janiah Martin. <laughs> Janiah is an accomplished scholar and influential student leader. She is graduating with honors from the Academy of Health, Human, and Financial Services. As an active member of the Hampton High community, she has balanced her academic program with extracurricular activities and leadership positions to include participation in the varsity volleyball team. She has countless hours of volunteer service with the YMCA, where she serves as vice president of the YMCA Youth Leaders Club. Janiah will be the first in her family to attend college, and she has decided to attend my alma mater, Virginia State University. Go Trojans! My junior EP, as she nicknamed herself, will major in biology on a pre-med track and will minor in graphic design. Please welcome to the podium your class president, Ms. Janiah Martin. Come on, you got it. Take the Good afternoon, family, friends, faculty and staff, Dr. Smith, members of the school board, and graduates. My name is Janiah Martin, and I'm extremely honored to be speaking in front of everyone that has helped form the class, which I am pleased to represent as senior class president, the class of 2023. Y'all can clap, period. <laughs> Before I begin, I want to start by acknowledging my mom since she is the reason I am able to stand before you all today. I want to thank my mom, Jamila Martin, for all the sacrifices she has made, the resources she has provided me with, and the unending support she has given me in every aspect of my life. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you for being the cool mom, the understanding mom, and the best mom. <laughs> when I originally started writing my speech, I thought it would be simple. But as soon as I got started, the only thing on my mind was how to make this speech memorable. When I asked my friend Jonathan for advice, he gave me the suggestion, Janiah, just speak from the heart. So approximately 13 years is how long our school career has lasted. Everyone always says high school flies by in the blink of an eye. I didn't realize how true that was until standing before you all today. Class of 2023, we did it. We all accomplished one of the major early milestones in our lives, high school graduation. This is a major step in our journey, one that should be recognized for its immense significance. It is an act not only of personal commitment, but also one of pride. However, high school is just that, high school. I think that adversity makes for strong people Therefore, it's okay that we've all struggled with something at some point. Don't be afraid. Difficulties will always be a part of our lives. Regardless of the difficulties you encounter, you will always have the confidence to keep pushing because you will always discover who you really are in the process. You only have one life to live, so live it. Make, abide by your moral principles and strive to realize your aspirations. If we put our minds to it, now is the time to be great, to inspire, to grow, but most importantly, to find our purpose. Senior year was the year that flew by the fastest. We were all caught up in the mayhem around us that we never got to stop and truly enjoy high school. If there is one thing I would want any of you to take away is that we take too much time wanting something to end that we never appreciated. So stop and enjoy what is happening right now. In the past two years, we see that a lot can change. Some of us really weren't sure if we were going to make it, but take a minute, look around, and realize that we did. 
We were adaptable and able to overcome the challenge, even if that challenge may have just been getting up to go to English class over Zoom. We are the generation of change and have the ability to push whatever life throws at us. I'm proud of us. When I say I'm proud of us, that means I'm so proud of us for not giving up no matter how many times we wanted to. I'm so proud that despite everything we've been through, we still wake up and find ways to smile every day. I'm so proud of us for all of the decisions we had to make. I'm so proud of us for taking steps to better ourselves and our lives. I'm so proud that even though we've been mistreated so many times, we've continued to spread love and positivity to the ones that we love. I'm so proud of how much we've grown and I'm so excited what's still to come for us. Four years ago, we entered high school not knowing what to expect. And honestly, I'm not sure if any of us actually figured that out. But what I do know is that endings are inevitable. And with this one, one door is closing while another is opening. High school wasn't meant to last forever and now it's time to say goodbye. But goodbyes can be sad, so I'd rather say hello. Hello to a new adventure, beginning and future. As we go on to this next chapter in life, may we never forget what shaped us to be the young and bright individuals that we have become. To my peers, once you cross the stage, stop and just enjoy the moment. Take one minute to see everyone before rushing out because we all know that one minute can make a difference. I would like to thank Ms. Porter, Ms. Dillard, Ms. Hardy, and last but certainly not least, Ms. Katrina Featherston for believing in me at times I was unmotivated for encouraging me to pursue my passions and dreams, even when the road ahead seemed daunting, and making sure that I stay true to myself. We have teachers that have pushed and guided us to my fellow peers. I hope that you too will take a moment to thank the people in your life that help you get to where you were today. Whether it's friends, family, or teachers, we all have people who played a major role in our success. As we stand here today, ready to embark on the next chapter of our lives, let us remember that we have the power to shape our own futures. We are the ones who will determine our own paths and we have the potential to achieve greatness. Let us never forget the passion, perseverance, and hard work that has brought us to this moment. I like to end my speech with a song lyric that has stuck with me throughout high school. This is for everyone going through tough times. Believe me, been there, done that. But every day above ground is a great day. Remember that. Class of 2023, I wish each and every graduate today nothing but the best in life. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Janiah, for your leadership and your words today. I too believe that each and every one of you has the potential for greatness and I'm excited to see what the future holds for each member of this class. Muhammad, start coming up. Next, we will recognize and hear an address from our salutatorian, Mr. Muhammad Al Safar. We will give him a moment to get on stage. I am honored Come closer. to recognize Muhammad Al Safar, whose academic pursuits have earned him a 4.61 cumulative grade point average. And the honor to serve as salutatorian of the class of 2023. Muhammad is receiving an advanced studies diploma and is an international baccalaureate diploma candidate. He is a well-rounded young man that excels in the classroom and in our community. According to Mrs. Harrison, Muhammad will most likely solve a major world problem someday. He has been described as a humble and brilliant academic beacon who genuinely wants to make learning relevant for him and his classmates. He has earned multiple academic honors, including academic letters and membership in the Triumph Music Honor Society, Math Honor Society, Social Studies Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society. 
Muhammad also participated in the Hampton City School Steel Drum Ensemble and was a member of the varsity soccer team. One of his most notable accomplishments while at the Hampton High School is being selected to serve as a student representative on our school board. Thank you, that's excellent. In his free time, he does have a little, Muhammad works with the Hampton Leaders Club, YMCA of the Virginia Peninsula's Youth and Government. Muhammad was accepted to 10 colleges and next year will bring new challenges and opportunities as he attends the College of William and Mary, where he plans to major in neuroscience and minor in public policy. Congratulations, Muhammad, for earning recognition as salutatorian for the class of 2023. Uh, where do I start? <laughs> Distinguished guests, esteemed faculty, proud parents, and my fellow graduating class of 2023, good afternoon. Thank you, Ms. Pollard. <laughs> I stand before you as a Mohammed El Safar, honored to represent our graduating class as the salutatorian of the Hampton High School. It is with immense gratitude and pride that I address you all on this momentous occasion. Before I dive into my speech, I would like to express my heartfelt appreciation to our dedicated teachers, supportive staff, and loving parents who have nurtured and guided us throughout our academic journey. Your unwavering support has been instrumental in our growth and success. And I'm serious, it has. <laughs> Thank you to all the counselors who had to deal with me, bothering them and blowing up their emails since ninth grade. I also want to say thank you to the school board right behind me for supporting me in all of my endeavors as a school board student representative for two years. It has been an honor. I want to give a special thank you to my beloved band director, Mr. Bell, as well as Ms. Tatina. Without them, I do not know where I'd be as, he as they transpired my passion for music. I also want to say thank you, and I appreciate the efforts of my family. Being born in Iraq and coming to America and growing up here as a refugee was a difficult process. <laughs> Y'all, we got a lot to go through. <laughs> I couldn't have ever been grateful for such an amazing family who have provided guidance and support, especially to my oldest sister, Noor, who has been with me with my academic journey ever since entering high school. To my other sister, Hind, and my brother, Hussein, I love you and thank you all three for being the best siblings I ever had in my life. To Baba, I thank you for always working hard for the family. Thank you for all the sacrifices you do. To Mama, I thank you for putting up with me to make sure I clean my room and take out the trash every day. Yes, I became the trash collector of the household. And to my grandparents, I thank you for making me focus and goal-oriented on my family and my life plans. Don't worry, I will translate everything after graduation. <laughs> In Arabic, I say to them, Ani ahabkum wa inshallah tshufuni bildunya. I want to also thank a family friend, Haider, and his family for always sticking with me ever since coming to America, enough to call him my cousin. I want to also shout out to those people who I have formed a close bond over the past four years. I want to shout out my closest friends, Tay, John Young, and Colin, who have always been there for me. They totally did not force me to put their name in the speech. <laughs> I also want to shout out my Tarrant kids and to all the Tarrant staff. I thank you for shaping who I came to be in high school. I also want to shout out to my YMCA family and staff for nurturing my other passions as well. Okay, enough of the serious stuff. Look around, folks. We're a group of soon-to-be graduates who have mastered the art of surviving high school drama, finishing exams, and somehow managing to look good in those hallways. Give yourselves a round of applause. Today, I want to share with you a quote that has resonated deeply within me and encapsulates the essence of our collective journey. 
Bruce Lee once said, empty your mind, be formless, shapeless like water. If you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. If you put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. If you put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow or it can crash, be water, my friend. These words have guided my reflections and inspired this message to you today. As we reflect on our school experiences, our journey has been filled with personal stories, challenges, and triumphs. Each of us have encountered unique obstacles, faced difficult decisions, and celebrated our own victories. But our biggest collective obstacle happened in ninth grade on March 13th, 2020, when we were all informed that on Friday, we would be out for two weeks of school. And honestly, it was a weird mix of emotions. Athletes, including myself, were sad, but also relieved knowing we were probably coming back two weeks later and resume playing. To others, it was another winter break, and we're so happy school was out, and to others, it was sadness because they loved school. Yeah, um, you know who you are. Anyways, the news then hit us, the dreadful, long forsaken, terrible, and frightful, horrible, grim, awful, dire, frightening, and horrifying, and alarming, and, okay, I'm sorry, I got carried away, and shocking pandemic. At that moment, we all felt something. Some utilized the pandemic to become more productive in their academic journey, and to others, it was a struggle through procrastination, not learning or anything, or the occasional struggle of remembering to unmute ourselves on Zoom, and even turning your camera off for that one class and going straight to bed. Yeah, we all did that at one point, don't forget. Yet here we are, I'm speaking to you all now on graduation day. Who could forget the infamous senioritis? It's a rare condition that hits the best of us, causing a possible lateness to early morning classes and a sudden craving for nap time. <laughs> Y'all yeah, know what I did there. <laughs> and don't even get me started on those teachers who post like 10 things to do. Man, I thought high school was going to be easy. Come on, Dr. Krause. <laughs> Let us not forget memorable moments from a presentation project we did the night before to just staying up all night. Anyways, we've been through it all. Also, do you remember your first day in high school? Like someone said we were like Usain Bolt on steroids. That was a funny one, Miss Pollard. We mastered the art of sneaking in a nap during math class. Like, I do not know what about math class, math classrooms, but like there is something that just makes us go to sleep there. I'm so sorry, Ms. Menard and Ms. Herb, but that nap was really worth it at that time, so thank you. But just like that, we have weathered the storm, adapted to the challenges, and emerged stronger than ever. We are the resilient ones, the ones who the pandemic impacted us the most through our freshman and sophomore years, the ones who have learned to be like water, finding our way through even the, un the most most unforeseen circumstances. And just like water, we have learned to adapt and take on different forms to navigate the diverse situations we encounter. We have discovered the power of resilience and the importance of embracing change. Let's also not forget all the accomplishments this year. I mean, can we please give it up for being the first class to hold the record of the most creative excuses used? Like, I swear to you, hearing my dog ate my homework for the first time was not a joke, it, like you can tell the teachers. <laughs> but on a serious note, we got to witness a state championship win from our girls varsity team. <laughs> varsity basketball team, sorry. Congratulations to everyone involved and specifically the seniors who are with us moving on with their journey. Furthermore, congratulations to all the athletes who also participated in a senior night, embarking and moving to bigger things in their life. Shout out to my varsity soccer team. Congratulations to the band and chorus for earning their well-deserved respective ratings. Shout out to my band family that I had since ninth grade. Congratulations to the drama club for putting on a play to showcase and working with actors to produce a future short film. Congratulations to our class sponsors for putting up a prom we will never forget, in my opinion, probably the best prom out of Hampton City Schools. And let's give a round of big, big round of applause to all the class artists, athletes, musicians, students, and all the extraordinary individuals who have made our time here truly memorable. Now they always say congratulations, worked so hard, forgot how to vacation. They ain't never had the dedication people hate and say we changed and look, we made it. 
yeah, we made it. I just quoted Post Malone, Lord, what is wrong with me? But most importantly, congratulations to yourselves for being here. That is surely the biggest accomplishment we could ever receive. We are a remarkable group of individuals, each with a unique talents and passions. Whether it be in academic, sports, arts, or community service, we have left a lasting impact in our school and community. And just like water, we have flowed effortlessly from one endeavor to another, making our mark along the way. As we step into the future, let us embrace the spirit of water and its inherent adaptability. The world we are entering is ever-changing. With new challenges and opportunities awaiting us, it is essential that we approach the future with optimism and courage. Just as water finds its way through the toughest of terrains, we must navigate the uncertainties with resilience and determination. Let us remember that setbacks are not failures, but opportunities for growth. We must remain open-minded, willing to learn, and flexible in our pursuits. I'm almost done, guys. Throughout our 12-year journey, we have acquired wisdom that can guide us as we move forward. First, perseverance. When faced with adversity, remember that water does not surrender. It finds a way to flow through or around the obstacles. Second, embrace failure as a learning opportunity. Just as water reshapes the landscape, failure shapes our character and propels us towards growth. Third, celebrate diversity. Just as water takes on different forms and various containers, we must appreciate the beauty and strength that comes from embracing our differences. Lastly, let kindness be our guiding principle, for kindness is like a gentle stream that nourishes and uplifts all who encounter it. Remember that success is not measured solely by accomplishments, but by the impact we have on others. Embrace diversity and treat everyone with kindness and respect for it is through understanding and unity that we can make a lasting difference in the world. In the face of challenges, remember the words of Bruce Lee and be like water, adaptive, fluid, and unyielding. Before I wrap up, I want to again express my deepest gratitude to our support network. To our parents, thank you for your unwavering love, sacrifice, and belief in us. To our teachers and mentors, thank you for your guidance and dedication in shaping our minds and nurturing our passions. To our friends, thank you for the laughter, love, and memories we have shared. They have been our guiding force, shaping us into adaptable and resilient individuals. Let us take a moment to express our deepest gratitude to them for their love, patience, and dedication. My fellow graduates, as we stand on the precipice of a new chapter in our lives, let us carry the teachings of our 12 years worth of wisdom from our teachers, parents, and other students in our hearts and embody the spirit of water in all that we do. Let us be adaptable, resilient, and unafraid to carve our own paths. With the qualities of water ingrained in our spirits, there is no limit to what we can achieve. May our paths be as fluid as water, just as water transforms and shapes our landscape. I want to leave you with this last statement. You are who you are because of you, and no one else can change that. You are who you are because of you, and no one can else can change that. Always step back and look at the bigger picture and realize you only have so much to live for. So live your life to your greatest potential. And just like Bruce Lee said, be water, my friends. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Thank you, and best wishes to each and every one of you in this room. Thank you, Muhammad, for that great message. And yes, this class has weathered the storm. Our school board chairman, Dr. Mason, will now come forward to present Muhammad with the salutatorian medal. Congratulations, Muhammad, and good luck next year at the College of William and Mary. As we wait for Muhammad to make his way off the platform, let's prepare to hear a selection from our Crabber Band, Southern Hymn by Samuel Hazel.
Thank you to our band for that beautiful selection. Senior band members, you may now return to your seats. At this time, Mrs. Elizabeth Goodwin, Academy Principal, will recognize scholarship offerings and awards for the class of 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my esteemed honor and privilege to share with you the class of 2023 as a collection of goal-oriented, passionate, and enterprising young women and men. First, we would like to thank the many colleges, universities, and business partners that have contributed to ensuring educational advancement to our Crabber scholars. Our Crabbers have worked diligently all year securing funds that they will use to pay for degrees and additional training, which they will utilize as they enter the workforce. 
At this time, we would like to recognize all Hampton seniors who have earned state Virginia licenses while in high school, entered or in entering the military, and or received scholarships, grants, or other financial award, awards. First, I would like all of the class of 2023 seniors who passed the Virginia State Licensure Exam to please stand and be recognized. These people before you have completed rigorous coursework, took state exams for Virginia licensure, and passed their exams. Congratulations on your accomplishments. You may be seated. At this time, we would like to ask all seniors who, have, who plan on entering a military branch to please stand to be recognized. We are grateful to you for your commitment to serving our country and protecting our freemen. Thank you, and you may be seated. In your program, there is an impress impressive listing of scholarships and awards earned by our seniors. These scholarships provide an opportunity for many to further their education and become a contributing members in our communities and later support our future generations of college, career, and life-ready citizens. Crabber class of 2023, if you have been awarded any merit-based grants or scholarships, please stand. <laughs> Crabber families, friends, and supporters, it is a great honor that I share with you that the Hampton High School class of 2023 has collectively earned $16,950,318 in scholarships. What an excellent job. We wish you much success. Congratulations to you all. You may be seated. Thank you, Ms. Goodwin, and congratulations to all of our seniors. Now I have the distinct pleasure to recognize our next student, your valedictorian, Mr. Ethan Alfonso. As an international baccalaureate diploma candidate, Ethan has an astounding cumulative grade point average of 4.63. thus earning him the class rank of number one. In addition to holding an impressive resume and transcript, he holds the reputation of being diligent, prepared, and reliable. His teachers describe him as energetic, enthusiastic, and eager to learn. When asked, Dr. Krauss had this to say about Ethan. Ethan has a strong capacity for understanding and articulating other people's points of view while distinguishing his own well-supported perspective and finding common ground. He mixes single-mindedness of purpose with a deep appreciation for others and genuine acts of kindness. Ethan has earned multiple academic honors, including academic letters, as well as membership in the Science National Honor Society, Rho Kappa Honor Society. Ethan serves as president of the National Honor Society and Spanish Honor Society, and vice president for the senior class of 2023. Ethan spends a lot of his time working with the YMCA as president of the YMCA Hampton Leaders Club and YMCA Youth and Government. Ethan was accepted to a variety of colleges. In the fall, he will be traveling to sunny California to attend Stanford University. Where he plans to double major in political science and comparative studies in race and ethnicity with a minor in human rights. When I met Ethan, at Summer Bridge in August of 2019, he told me that he will be the President of the United States one day. And I'm gonna hold him to that. It is with great pleasure 
that I present the Hampton High School Class of 2023 valedictorian, Mr. Ethan Alfonso. Thank you, Ms. Fowler. Uh, Give it to him. Yes. All right, you straight? I'm good. Good afternoon. All right, bye. Oh, wait. Let me continue. Do I have y'all's attention? Because I'm going to need it for the remainder of this speech. Good afternoon, or as people from my home island would say, half a day. My name is Ethan Alfonso. It is my distinct honor and privilege to be standing before you today as the valedictorian of the Hampton High School class of 2023. Oh, thanks, y'all. Seniors, all you have to do is sit back, relax, and just take it all in. Today is your day, and this speech was created with that intention in mind. Families, friends, staff members, and distinguished guests, it is the moment you've all been waiting for. I need all of your energy and enthusiasm. <laughs> After I count down from three, I need all of you to make all the noise possible. All of the support you've been pouring into these children for the past four years, we needed just one more time to cross that bridge. After I count down from three, I need y'all to make all the noise. I need to feel your energy from the front of the audience to those all the way sitting in the back. I need your energy so high, people streaming on YouTube can feel it, you feel me. I don't care what you have to do, as long as it allows all of us to celebrate together. It is time to let the whole city know that the Hampton High School is in the building. On my count, let's congratulate the Hampton High School class in three, two, one. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, seniors. Okay, y'all, we done now. The real world and media outlets present us with so much hatred and anger towards one another. Just this past week, I saw this news report of a fight that broke out in a movie theater while watching the new Little Mermaid. Be so for real. And just an hour away from us, a gunman opened fire at a crowd after a high school graduation, and two lives were stolen from us. May they rest in peace and action be taken to address, address the growing number of deaths associated with gun violence. Seniors, I urge you to take this moment and soak in all of the love. This Coliseum for the next hour is filled with nothing but love, gratitude, and sincerity for one another. Today, we are here together as a cohort each with our own authentic pathways into the future. Understand that everyone in this space is rooting for you and your success. It truly takes a village to uphold Hampton High's legacy of excellence. Speaking of legacy of excellence, what is your legacy? What have you done these past four years that you are most proud of? How will this school and others remember you? Maybe it's scoring your 1,000th point, or getting $1.4 million in scholarships? These are questions that I asked myself throughout my high school career. In order to leave your legacy, your presence needs to be felt in the space, even if you are on the other side of the world. It's kind of like how Ms. Alt allows her seniors to paint a portion of her classroom. Literally, all her seniors pick a portion of her classroom and use it as their blank canvas and just start drawing on it. It is the same concept, but instead of a paintbrush, it is your authentic personality, leadership, and character creating your legacy. One harsh truth that I had to accept is that we have little to no control over the ways others choose to remember us. We cannot control the thoughts and actions of others, no matter how badly we want to. As an avid overthinker, I'm always wondering if I said the wrong thing, if these people are even truly my friends, wondering if I'm even good enough or even if I deserve this. I was so caught up in how my actions made others feel. Yeah, y'all know. I know, it's pathetic. But these are real thoughts, and they constantly run through my mind. It is exhausting and debilitating to allow the thoughts of others to dictate your life. I had to slowly accept that the only thing I can control is my own actions and thoughts. 
Once I acknowledged that, I focused less on what others thought of me and shifted my thinking over to how I can best present myself. Thank you. I began to focus on three things I can control. My mindset as I overcome adversity, the environment and people I surround myself with, and how I want to experience my life. Once you focus on your needs and yourself, you realize that the opinions and thoughts of others are relevant. They do not matter because they don't live your life. They are not there for your long days and your late nights. They do not have to go through your struggles and challenges. They are not there for your worst moments, so don't let them have control of your future. Live your life with no regrets because you never know what can happen. Tell your people you love them. Travel the world and do things that you love. Take care of yourself, set those boundaries, and have those tough conversations. In that same breath, go create change. Bring people together. Fight for what you believe in and lead with love. Leave your legacy. An individual whose legacy remained with me since their passing is Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick Boseman died of stage four colon cancer on August 28, 2020. We later found out that Chadwick was diagnosed with stage three colon cancer in 2016 and battled with it for four years as it progressed to stage four. Throughout his journey, he chose to keep his cancer battle a secret. Instead, he tried to focus on his legacy and what he would leave behind. To the world, he is this icon and change maker who gave black children across the world a superhero who looked like them. His passion and determination is felt on his on-screen performances in Avengers, Black Panther, The Five Bloods, 21 Bridges, and many others. Off-screen, he advocated to push for representation in the film industry. He accomplished his goals with such tenacity and spirit. Although Chadwick Boseman is no longer with us, his legacy as Black Panther lives on forever. Wakanda forever. Through my own experiences and Chadwick Boseman's legacy, class of 2023, I want to leave you all with four pieces of advice that none of y'all asked for, because I know y'all trying to get out of here. So uh, I'll make it quick, I promise. The first piece of advice, run so that others after you can walk. Run faster than those people we heard in the hallways when they would call for a hall sweep. <laughs> On a serious note, y'all, we got to allow people to heal. Just because generations before us had it rough, does not mean it has to stay like that. Be the start of generational healing. I am the oldest child, so that means I was the experiment. I was the test dummy for what didn't work and what worked. Since, since the moment my brother was born, I found myself speechless at how different they treated him. Like, I never had that type of treatment, y'all. Like, it was completely different. Anyways, my rage and envy came from a selfish place, and sometimes I let my emotions get the best of me, and Austin, I apologize if I made you feel any less than. After a deep reflection, I realized that my parents' change in parenting and treatment was a result of healing. They understood that there are some things that just have to change. We gotta let people heal. Do not be the reason generational trauma continues. Be that individual who fosters healthy relationships and creates inclusive spaces. Like I said before in the beginning, bring people together. Set those boundaries and have those tough conversations. Create the change now so that others after you do not have to go through the same struggles and challenges. Advice number two, represent your legacy. Your heritage is beautiful. Your queerness is beautiful. Happy Pride, y'all. Your melanin is beautiful. Yes. Go into the world and show them that you will never stop being yourself. Match your excellence with your merits and experiences. Do not give anyone a reason to doubt your worth because you are priceless. Advice number three, be about that action. As the queen, Beyonce, has once stated, don't talk about what you're gonna do. Don't just dream about what you're gonna do. Don't criticize somebody else for what they're not doing. You be it, be about it. Be about that action and go do it. Having dreams is important, but without action, it is just a wish. Use your goals and values to create your vision and stay true to it. Start your business, get that promotion. Shoot, even practice yoga. I don't care what you gotta do, just do it. Stop waiting for the right time because there will never be a right time. 
live spontaneously. All righty, y'all. Number four. If you take nothing from this speech, I need you to at least take this one thing, this one thing, y'all. Own your life. 5,040. That is approximately the amount of hours we spent at Hampton High School. Yeah, I know, yeah, I heard that, ooh. Most of our time as high schooler is, is spent in living in other people's schedules. As we walk across this stage, we are now in control of the lives we want to live. Take advantage of every opportunity and grow into the future leaders I know you can be. The world is depending on it. Before I close out my speech, it would be wrong of me not to thank the people who have helped get me to where I am today. Thank you to my family in the audience, and uh, ooh. thank you, Mom, for being my everything. I do all of this for you, and it will never be enough to show my gratitude, appreciation for you. You are a woman of many titles. Thank you to my Mama G for always keeping me grounded with my culture and showing me what it means to truly support a family. Thank you to my dad for loving me for the, and for the commitment to continue loving me no matter what. Thank you, Austin, for making me cry on my darkest days and continuing your own path to success. I cannot wait to be at your first MLB game. Thank you to my family at the YMCA for giving me my safe space when I needed it the most. Thank you to all of the security guards, ABM staff, and Officer Gomes for making our school environment a safe and healthy place in these crucial times. To Mr. Williams, ooh, y'all, I'm gonna get through this, who has been there for me since day one at Summer Bridge. Thank you for your unconditional love and support as we navigated these past four years together. You are a part of my forever family. To my Abby family, we were challenged together, we grew together, and the connections and experiences are unforgettable, period. To the rest of the faculty and staff at Hampton High, it has been a fun ride and we are endlessly grateful for your support, knowledge, and wisdom we have received from you all. Today, we are here with unlimited potential because of you all. To the class of 2023, as Vice President Kamala Harris once said, we did it, Joe, we did it. We're the next graduates of the Hampton High School. It is time to leave our legacy on the world. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Ethan. We now ask our school board chairman, Dr. Mason, to come forward to present Ethan with the valedictorian medal. Congratulations, Ethan, and good luck next year on the West Coast at Stanford University. I would now like to ask Mr. Damian Collins, Academy Principal, to come forward to present the Outstanding Senior Award. The Outstanding Senior Award was started by the Hampton High School Class of 1958. The inscription on the base of the trophy reads, to be awarded each year to the individual senior student who displays the qualities in all endeavors of school life. The senior class selects one of their own members to receive this award, not necessarily the best athlete, the best student, or the most popular person in the class but one who influences many areas of school life. This year's recipient is a member of the Health, Human, and Financial Services Academy. She maintains an impressive 4.02 GPA in highly rigorous courses. Many people will walk in and out of our lives, but only a few will leave a footprint in our hearts. In charting her senior year, she has rolled up her sleeves and mastered the personal pathways of making this a great closeout year. She plans to attend Hampton University in the fall and major in political science. This student has been an ardent champion to others, described by her counselor as well-balanced, caring, open-minded, and principled. This student embodies the spirit of a crabber and has exceeded the qualifications for this award. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to award this coveted distinction to Miss Judah Jones.
congratulations to my Judah. You are truly deserving of this honor. None of today would be possible without a bold leader who ensures a laser focus on high quality education. We've been led for the past eight years by a visionary whose leadership has transformed teaching and learning in Hampton City Schools. A strong partnership with the City of Hampton and our countless community partners helps to ensure all students graduate the portrait of a Hampton graduate and ready for college, career, and life. We are fortunate now to have Dr. Smith come to the podium to share his final graduation remarks as superintendent of Hampton City Schools with the class of 2023. Dr. Smith is also graduating today as he retires as of, with over 30 years of service in education, 32 to be exact. Let's congratulate Dr. Smith as he moves into the sweet next chapter called retirement. How many of you know that you can't crush a crab? Come on, ladies and gentlemen. How many of you know that you can't crush a crab? Good afternoon, members of the class of 2023. As the superintendent of Hampton City Schools, it is indeed my pleasure to join your family, friends, school board members, and elected officials of the Virginia General Assembly as well as members of the division leadership team to celebrate this important time in your life's journey. Members of the graduating class of 2023 of Hampton High School, that is the Hampton High School. Crabbers, you have already made your mark as scholars of achievement. Family members, and guests, let me share with you some of the accomplishments of this remarkable class. The girls' basketball team won the VHSL Class 4 State Championship. Go Crabbers! As a class, their achievements are indeed outstanding. These young people have been offered, as you have already heard, more than $16 million in scholarships and grant awards, bringing the grand total for all graduating seniors for the class of 2023 in Hampton City Schools to more than, you must hear this, to more than $63 million. Their future plans are impressive. Members of this class, they have enlisted in the armed forces to serve our country. Their post-secondary plans also include attending Pennsylvania State University, Old Dominion University, Norfolk State University, behold the green and gold, Virginia Peninsula Community College, Virginia Commonwealth University, go Rams, Bryant and Stratton College, George Mason University, the University of North Carolina at Charlotte, Tuskegee University, Oakland University, Roanoke College, Iowa State University, North Carolina A&T University, the College of William and Mary, Richard Bland College of William and Mary, Virginia State University, Liberty University, North Carolina Central University, and the home by the sea, Hampton University, Tidewater Community College, James Madison University, Empire Beauty School, Clark Atlanta University, Alabama A&M University, and St. Leo University, and Stanford University. Family members and friends, I know that you will join me in giving these young people, the class of 2023, a round of applause. <laughs> members of the class of 2023, always remember to give your best and to be the best version of you and not a carbon copy of someone else. 
Travers, indeed you did it and you made it happen. Members of this class of 2023, and now what has become my annual graduation tradition, would you kindly stand, members of the class of 2023? <laughs> members of the class of 2023, my relevant question to you, Crabbers, are you ready to go forth and make your mark of distinction? Please take with you my best wishes and know this, you can't crush a crab. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Smith. Thank you for your commitment and dedication to not only Hampton City Schools, but the Hampton High School. Let's give Dr. Smith another round of applause. Thank you again to our honored guests who have joined us this afternoon. This graduating class of 2023 is the 127th class to participate in the graduation ceremonies from the Hampton High School. Class of 2023, the graduation ceremony is always a special occasion, the culmination of years of hard work, the actualization of goals attained, and the acknowledgement of success achieved. Parents, families, and supporters, we have now arrived at that point in the program for which you have patiently awaited. Academy principals, Mr. Collins, Mr. Williams, and myself will clearly and quickly read the names of each graduate, and we will not pause to wait for the Coliseum to be quiet. It would be very disappointing if every one of our graduates and their supporters were not able to hear that special name called this afternoon. To maintain the pride of the Hampton High School and the respect for each graduate and their families, we ask that you keep your celebrations brief so that every student and family could celebrate equally. And then, when all the names are called, as always, we will make a noise that can be heard all the way back to 1491 West Queen Street, because at that point, another class has graduated from the Hampton High School. Superintendent Dr. Smith, School Board Chair Dr. Mason, Executive Principal Ms. Pollard, and distinguished platform guests by the power vested to the Hampton High School by the Virginia State Board of Education and the Hampton City School Board. It is indeed our honor and our privilege to present these candidates, the graduating class of 2023 at the Hampton High School for awarding of the diplomas. Academy principals, are you ready? Please take your positions. Representing the Gifted Enrichment Seminar, 
Akaya Divine Lindsay, highest honors. Jamel Mayon Ash, highest honors. Everett Roy Felt IV, highest honors. Graduating from the Academy of Health, Human, and Financial Services, Judah Ayana Jones, highest honors. Michaela Elizabeth Bailey, highest honors. Makaira Leanne Belchis, highest honors. Jamaria Caitlin Berry, highest honors. Jalicia Clanice Booker, highest honors. Kaylani Uder Brown, highest honors. January Corey Bird, highest honors. Samaya Shanae Chapel, highest honors. Alexia Hadia Chapman, highest honors. Jordan Aliyah Dupree, highest honors. Mecca Amaya Indris, highest honors. Jayana Marcel Fleming, highest honors. Nakaya Antoinette Hardwick, highest honors. Emmanuel James Harris, highest honors. Kariah Nevaeh Henry, highest honors. Janaya Marie Holloman, highest honors. Derricka Lene Jones, highest honors. Maria Nyanvingi Faith Kavoda, highest honors. Harmony Langford, highest honors. Gloria Meza, highest honors. Nevea Chanel Prentiss, highest honors. Amy Michelle Pinot, highest honors. Carla Judith Rodriguez, highest honors. Angela Nicole Root, highest honors. Rhiannon Rose O'Brien Shaw, highest honors. Zaria Victoria Short, highest honors. Chessie Irene Silkman, highest honors. Hubert Springer Jr., highest honors. Lynn Noel Taylor, highest honors. Kiera Ari Tuck, highest honors. Evelyn Darlene Weeks, highest honors. Brielle Nicole Wiles, highest honors. Alisa Kishe Wilson, highest honors. Janaya Lanice Wright, highest honors. Kiera Nicole Youngblood, highest honors. Layla Nasser Jabber Basra, honors. Kamira Avie Carmichael, honors. Aki Zakura Charlize Comer, honors. Nyla Corliss Copeland, honors. Adriana Shante Davis, honors. Azel Marque Freeman, honors. Tashinanu Janice Garrison, honors. Brianna Shante George, honors. Brianna Lee Jemerson Cook, honors. Anaya Simone Knight, honors. Zamira Adrena Leonard, honors. Elani Kayla Lomax, honors. Ezra Eli McMillan II, honors. Asia Monet Ricks, honors. Xavier Christopher Simpson, honors. Destiny Elise Spratley, honors. Sanaya Imani Stowes, honors. Serenity Jade Tainer, honors. Christian Jamel Marcellus White, honors. Kristen Danielle Whitehead, honors. Tina Nicole Brown. Aaliyah Tynesha Anthony. Kelvin Alexander Bell. Antonio Leonard Belcher. Stephanie Tina Marie Bonner. Chantrill Brickhouse, 
Corey Demarcus Brown Jr. Delilah Mariana Brown. Deja Kalise Ann Alston. Amber Marlene Castellanos. Promise Unaya Cox. Ava Elizabeth Cryer. Taylor Nicole Drew. Takia Amaya Ely. Kevin Omar Escobar Robles. Diamond Michelle Evans. Naraya Samora Carolina. Amira Nomaria Ford. Sequoia Ariana Frink. Colby Elise Fulton. Jordan Duran Gatling. Tashawn Jamel Guilford Jr. Jaquez Griffin. Kamori Ariane Griffin. Diana Hill. Lene Sherell Hill. Nevaeh McKenzie Holloway Melvin. Jeriana Lynette Jackson. Xavion Enrique James Plummer. Jakia Lene Kelly. Josiah Trinity Kearns. Ajari Natalia King, Evelyn Mahoney, Rajane Unique Major, Heaven Ayana McKay, Cameron Nelson, Kamani Overton. Brijan Michael Palmer. Nevea Kristen Porter. Donovan Jermaine Petros. Go ahead, Donovan. Go ahead, Donovan. James Lamont Draper Wilson. Shade Janai Robinson. Jari Darius Roseboro. Jalen Michael San Martin, Crystal Rosario, Sanaya Royal, Adeja Monet Small, Janaya Colleen Smith, Italy Sutton, Trinity Lachey Thompson. Shermaya Jade Tyler. Destiny Kiana Washington. Amarion Takari Webster. Honesty Chantrice Wilson. Zaire Marquise Wilson. The following students represent the International Baccalaureate Program. Gabriel Monroe, highest honors. Nicola Armando Baker, highest honors, international Di baccalaureate diploma candidate. Isabella Quinn Charlin, highest honors, international baccalaureate diploma candidate. McKenna Brianne Clark, highest honors. Dustin Michael Cooper, highest honors, international baccalaureate diploma candidate. Amira Anaya Dennis, highest honors, international baccalaureate candidate. Abigail Ann Fury, highest honors, international baccalaureate diploma candidate. Jada Cassandra Hardys, highest honors, international baccalaureate diploma candidate. Chance Allen Harris, highest honors, international baccalaureate candidate. Janija, Janija Nicole Cheyenne Johnson Seneca, highest honors, international baccalaureate candidate. Cameron Latasha Mallory, highest honors, international baccalaureate diploma candidate. Don Jalen Mann, highest honors. Juliana Ari Mitchell, highest honors. 
Vanessa Marie Morgan, highest honors, international baccalaureate candidate. Adriana Paradise, R Adriana Paradise Risner, honors, Risner. Lisa Rajesh Kumar Patel, highest honors. Carmen Gabriel Pope, highest honors, international baccalaureate program. Kira Shanae Reed, highest honors. Cheyenne Reed, highest honors, international baccalaureate diploma pro candidate. Ryan McKenzie Riley, highest honors. Sh Sean M. Roberts, highest honors, international baccalaureate diploma candidate. Ileana Abigail Santiago Galindo, highest honors. Jaden Carl Shingos, highest honors, international baccalaureate diploma candidate. Nazir Damian Smith, highest honors, international baccalaureate diploma candidate. Jaleel Hakeem Vessels, highest honors, international baccalaureate diploma candidate. Camille Rosa Garner, honors, international baccalaureate diploma candidate. Holt Colin Marquez, honors. Jasha Brewington. Huneda Yazir Hassan. Unique L. Braxton, representing the Maritime Academy, honors. Jakaya Camtrice Williams. Elizabeth Maysong Apperson, highest honors. Christiana Victoria Brooks, highest honors. Nevea Natrell Deloach, highest honors. Daniel Den, highest honors. Nicholas Hare, highest honors. Jalen Jaheem Jenkins, highest honors. Wa Kumu, highest honors. Johnny Patlin, highest honors. Dakara Nanette Scott, highest honors. Amani Ishmael Shahada, highest honors. <laughs> Amaria Rashawn Akins, honors. Richard Christoph Ayers. Amarion Deshaun Barber, honors. Alexavier Kempe Barham, honors. Emmanuel Lewis Blunt, honors. Audrey Elijah Copeland, honors. Ariel Liliana Davis, honors. Ian Gway, honors. Amir Savon Howard, honors. Destiny Patrice Jackson, honors. Drayvon Tyrell Johnson, honors. Caleb Michael Kilcrease, honors. Heaven Lankford, honors. Elijah Joseph Lee, honors. Federa Ehenetu Abuena, honors. Quentin Anthony Pearson, honors. Jalea, Jayla Wizana Stratton, honors. Regina Izel Tafilo, honors. Liz Vosen, honors. Anthony Lamont Gibson, Jr. Brianna Moore Rogers. Darren Lewis Smith Brim. Deshaun Jeremiah Boyce. Michael Christian Chapman. Tremere Cottle. Yasmin Lee Dawson. Ramsey Elijah Dutton. Michael Gerard Mitchell, honors. Jalil Gill. Deshaun Michael Jamar Gray. Clifton Payne Green. Dayton Demir Lomax, Jalen Alexander Moore, Avion Talik Pittman, Draynik Mightlow Pretlo, Soraya Randall Frazier, Ayana Zari Nani Riddick, Dylan Elijah Richardson, Christian James Shelton, 
Atira Lanique Walker. Ariana Saray Donnie Ward. Jonathan Albert Weiss. Zion Jameer Williams. Federico Wilson Jr. Zion Antonio Wilson. Lamai Maya Yimsvet. The following students are representing the Academy of Technology and Engineering. Madeline Mitchell Parr, highest honors. Milan Junior Alexander II, highest honors. Savannah Yvette Bailey, highest honors. LaMonica Nicole Barnes, highest honors. Jasmine Eunice Beal, highest honors. Rashid Marquise Taylor. Samara Unique Taylor. Tanaya Shanae Kaori Boone, highest honors. John Fitzgerald Creeth, highest honors. Micah Ali Gillespie, highest honors. Samad Utrell Griffin, highest honors. Kennedy Alyssa Harris, highest honors. Antoine Jamel Harris, highest honors. Audrey Michelle Ingram, highest honors. Asia Michaela Johnson, highest honors. Nyla Armani Long, highest honors. Oscar Henry Mallory II, highest honors. Abednego Mbaruku, highest honors. Serity Ak, highest honors. Christo Daniel Orsorto, highest honors. Shane Anthony Richardson, highest honors. Edward Sylvester Ricks, highest honors. Camille Josiah Shepard, highest honors. Mason Anthony Smith, highest honors. Deneva Faye Marie Staples, highest honors. Brianna Michelle Turner, highest honors. Jordan Brianna White, highest honors. Tyshawn M. Woodson, highest honors. John Andrew Young, highest honors. Josiah Castro. Nikasia Talisa Turner Foy. Alyssa Rose Meckling, highest honors. Isaiah Jacob Miller, highest honors. Laron Marquis Christian. Alyssa Michelle Combs, honors. Mark Nadir Felice May Jr., highest honors. Jonathan Tyler Wade Hatton, honors. Devon Keyshawn Henry, honors. Nyla Maxine James, honors. Emmanuel Andre McPherson, honors. Joshua Paul Mendoza, honors. Amoy Nidira Robinson Morris, honors. Kyla Tiana Rogers, honors. Brent Addison Sales, honors. Alexis Denise Walker, honors. Gabriella May Waltermeyer, honors. Israel David Warren, honors. Olandis Elijah Samuel Wilkes, honors. Anaya Janae Williams, honors. Tadeja Unique Ogburn. Jason Isaac Armstrong. Myquan Keon Battle. Tayshawn Lamont Boyd. Malcolm Christopher Bird. Kanisha Latrice Coleman. Raekwon Saran Smith, honors. Tavian Warren Tucker Jr., honors. Jarrell Trayvon Council. Jalen Broussard. Shaheem Javante Christian Carter. Jacob Tyler Didi. Ikeem Davis, 
Sincere Ebron. Anina Hosway Florentine. Coleman Jalen Floyd. Isaiah Jamar Grant. Dazon Amar Green. Janaya Dion Jackson. Makaya Amani Johnson. Carl Jones. Keaton Gregory Keaton. Sanaya Zare Leary. Domain Antoine Lee. Martine Irene Lee. Elijah William Lewis. Ethan Little. Jamonte Antoine Lovett. Lillian Marie Loya. Jason Alexander Mann. Nayati McLeod. Ari J. Hernandez. Gabriel Michael Hill. Christopher M. Hodges. Ayana Lene Moore Jolly. Corinne Doliza Owens. Jaquay Montgomery. Ramir Lee Parks. Nylik Devon Payne. Jaleel Pizar Richard Pizarro. Asia Simone Porter. Mikkel Malik Ricks. Zakari Jamel Ricks. Hassan Thornton. Jayla Lanaya Terraforte. Amir D. Sanders. My son, Shara McZeal. Zachariah Thomas. Amir Jamarcus Williams. Christian Sean Williams. Quadir Jordan. Knowledge Jones L. Representing the school board, Tamia Janaya Kelly, highest honors, International Baccalaureate Diploma Candidate. Representing the school board, Vicky Chen, highest honors, International Baccalaureate Diploma Candidate. Your class president for the class of 2023, Janaya Aaron Michelle Martin, honors. Also representing the school board, Muhammad Allah Nafia Al Safar, highest honors, international baccalaureate diploma candidate. Salutatorian. And your valedictorian for the class of 2023, Ethan Kyle Kulantong Alfonso, highest honors, international baccalaureate diploma candidate. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 2023. 
At this time, I invite your class president, Ms. Janaya Martin, back to the podium to lead our symbolic passing of the torch ceremony and turning of the tassels by our graduates. Before we turn our tassels, we have one more important act. I now ask that the senior ambassadors for each college and career academy Please come forward and stand next to your Academy Gonfalon. <laughs> Academy ambassadors will now stand next to their Academy Gonfalons as well. As we continue to build upon the legacy of excellence at the Hampton High School, I ask that from the Gifted Enrichment Seminar, Akaya Lindsay, please pass the torch to Shakayla Clark. From the Academy of Health, Human, and Financial Services, Judah Jones, please pass the torch to Nicole Harris. From the IB Academy, Gabriel Monroe, please pass the torch to Gregory Sabarsi. From the VSRA Maritime Academy, Jakiah Williams, please pass the torch to Maisha, Maisha Hardy. Sorry. And from the <laughs> and from the Academy of Technology and Engineering, Madeline Parr, please pass the torch to Iceland Joseph. Thank you to our senior ambassadors. Please return to your seats. Fellow seniors, please stand. <laughs> when you arrived today, you were st students at the Hampton High School. You wore your tassels on the right to receive your diplomas. You may now turn your tassels from the right side to the left side to signify that you are now graduates of the Hampton High School. Home of the Crabbers and forever a part of its legacy of excellence. Congratulations, alumni. Congratulations, alumni, and please remain standing. At this time, we will sing the Hampton High School alma mater, led by senior Madeline Parr, under direction of Ms. Wanda Mitchell, choral director, accompanied by our high school band. The alma mater can be found in your program. Audience, please join our graduates in standing for our alma mater.
thank you for that beautiful tribute. Please be seated as we have more on our program today. Before I let you go, I'd like to share a few brief remarks. Ladies and gentlemen, today is like any other. Sitting before you are graduates that have excelled in every area. These young people represent our best. They leave behind a true legacy of excellence. I'm going to tell you a little bit about these graduates. This group includes 112 students who graduated with highest honors. Stand up and let the people see you. A legacy of excellence. You may be seated. 57 students who graduated with honors. Stand and let the crowd see you. A legacy of excellence. 20, you may be seated, my apologies. 20 IB diploma candidates, please stand. A legacy of excellence, you may be seated. Rhiannon Shaw from the Academy of Health, Human, and Financial Services who secured more than $1.4 million in scholarships and awards. Stand a legacy of excellence. Rhiannon will be attending Norfolk State University in the fall. Behold, <laughs> a legacy of excellence. Kennedy Harris from the Academy of Technology and Engineering who scored her 1,000th point in basketball and led her team to become class four state champions and is already enrolled at George Mason University, a legacy of excellence. Aubrey Copeland from the Maritime Academy, who secured full-time employment with Newport News Shipbuilding before graduation, a legacy of excellence. Cameron Mallory, who toyed and toyed with her decision, will attend the University of North Carolina and represent the IB Academy, a legacy of excellence. Class of 2023, you are amazing. And your legacy of excellence will live on forever. Today, we celebrate your achievements, and tomorrow, you begin your next chapter. Take advantage of opportunities, rise to meet challenges, and never, ever give up. Never take life for granted. Remember, life is not measured by the number of breaths you take, but by the moments that take your breath away. Make the most of everything you do and make every moment count. You are leaving the Hampton High School, exuding the qualities of the portrait of a Hampton graduate. Together, you and I, we have truly grown over the past four years, and you will forever be in my heart as the class that has defied all odds, leaving behind a legacy of excellence. I've watched you grow as individual scholars, athletes, artists, and leaders, carving out your legacy of excellence. Thank you for the countless memories, the laughs and the tears too. Thank you for all of the successes and those challenges that have made us all better humans. Thank you for standing behind me when I made mistakes and not holding them against me. I thank you for trusting me and allowing me to be a part of your high school experience and your lives. As you go out into the world, remember that you carry with you the Crabber legacy of excellence and Crabber pride, integrity, honor, and loyalty a legacy of excellence. And remember, once a crabber, always a crabber. Go forth and continue to create a lasting legacy of your own. I love you all, and you will always be in my heart. Congratulations, and thank you for choosing the Hampton High School, where a legacy of excellence continues. Audience and graduates, please stand and everyone remain standing until the graduates have exited.